Hello guys and welcome to my Black Ops 2 Mob of the Dead Pop Goes the Weasel Strategy Part 1 and this is mainly for you guys to earn the achievement I'm guessing around under 15 uh, But basically I'm trying to here to show you how to earn the achievement uh, Because anyone could just tell you how to earn the achievement or trophy but not explain to you what they did to get the achievement slash trophy. So what you're going to need is two to four players and weasel, and that's it. Uh, if you have uh, two to three players, uh, you will uh, always spawn weasel. You will always have weasel in your team no matter what. So you'll be uh, quite glad about that. And what you're going to do next is power up double points as you're going to need double points and as you can tell I'm on my own but do not panic because my friend joins in at a later time so that it doesn't help for me because I'm the only one here and I only have one um, after oh, considering I'm in custom games and not in uh, you know with two two uh, on solo but I'm not fussed about that what you're going to need to do next is to uh, kill the certain amount of zombies so if you're with yourself but make sure that player has joined it'll be one it'll be five kills if you have two players it'll be three kills each if you have three players it will be two kills each with one person having three and if you're having four players it'll be two kills each and what we're going to do next is open the spawn door and the warden's door uh, these are these are these two doors right here. And we want to do then is power the following doors, which is the shower door, um, the warden's office, and the warden's key. Those are the general ones you need to power. The possible ones you could power is um, speed cola, uh, the laundry, and double tap. If you have the required points and you have enough time to do that, because you can do that all in one go. It's just the fact if you have enough time yourself and don't screw things up a little bit. So if you if you can't, don't panic. Just do the main ones. Uh, you can do the possible ones a bit later. As you can see, I, I'm because I only had enough time to do the speed cola one. So now I revive myself. And then I've got to do the dog, um, which is this is the first dog which you got to do. What I recommend is having the MP5 or the B23R uh, because you're going to need a weapon because your M1911 is going to run out quite quickly so uh, so that always helps having that second weapon on your side. It requires 6 kills in order to have the dog fully you know, happy. Uh, and then once you have basically completed that you're going to move on to powering the um, laundry if you have not completed this already so if you hadn't completed if you hadn't um, powered the laundry I definitely recommend you power it now on round three while you still have time and also since you own if you have uh, only just done this you can open a few more doors like that um, the um, you know the drops where they spawn in so that like always helps. So uh, if you run out of ammo, you can always definitely pick them up, including the insta kill, so you can and your team survive a little bit more longer if you're stuck in that area. And then what we're going to move on to next is to then power the following doors. It will be the plane door, the gondola. Uh, then you can do uh, dish or daiquiri and um, electric cherry. So that means you we have now basically completed all of the jail cell the jail the jail cell uh, section of the area so you will no longer have to power anything over here so that's all fine and dandy so once that's completed you are now basically free to do whatever you want um, in, uh, but of course you're going to need the tomahawk so this is where you're going to have to survive in over here on round four and here is quite difficult to stay because mainly uh, there's there's two sides they can come from which is from the roof or from um, I don't know what the other place is called but basically they come through there 
and it's really difficult to control if you're on solo. If you've got two players, you could have one person protect the roof, while the other person like protects the other side while trying to eat the dog, or like the dog eat his food because he's hungry. Like I said, I'm having real difficulties trying to um, survive, so which I had to do, I had to come up to the roof, and I had the kaboom by accident. But if you run out of MP5 ammo, I would say go and get the Uzi, as that will be a very powerful weapon, and it's really close by. Um, and that always helps with the Uzi. If you get a max ammo, that's great, you can use the MP5 a little bit more, trying to save up your points much as possible but once you have completed the dog finally as, as you can tell here you're gonna move on to um, doing the next dog which is the one at the dock and this place is a little bit more easier than um, the the one that's near the roof mainly because you've now got a little bit more uh, space to uh, come at however there are some more slight problems because the zombies jump down um, which can make it difficult, which is why you also need a friend to protect, protect that side uh, as much as they can. So basically, I'm, what you can see here, I'm gathering gathering all the zombies up and then uh, going to kill them. You can tell right here. And basically, if you have still kept your MP5 and you're about to run out of ammo, I will definitely recommend you go and get the Tommy gun, which is, you can tell right across the other side. As you can tell, I am training for my life. It, it's quite difficult to train in this area. Which, it, it helps with that door closed. Um, but we are going to have to open it at some point once we have completed the store. Which, uh, well, that will help. I mean, once you've got the, you got the hardest part out of the way, the dogs. As you can tell here, I was getting trapped and I couldn't survive there. So what you do is if you can't survive, you come all the way over here. And... Basically, you got a little bit more of fresh air. You got a little bit more of us open wide space. Open that door because you're going to, need to do that later on. I think I'll hold on and then you just Maybe basically stay close to the left. No, actually, right as you can. As you can walk through the left. And then once that's completed, the dog. Then you can see there's a bunch of zombies now crawling after you. But you've got the whole group now, so you means you can now kill all the zombies and complete. Um, your step and then once you finally complete the dog you then want to go in afterlife and do the following doors Just try it. I want you to. you'll want to power juggernaut uh, the plane part and if you have the door open it will be the um, all the generators but I didn't open the door by accident so I couldn't do that so I had to wait till the next round to do it because I was playing solo uh, but don't panic or worry because it's going to it eventually um, you know, it open That's it. so I had to basically open the door uh, next round uh, as you can tell here I die but I thought this was a great opportunity to power all the generators and once I've powered the generators, I then want to move back and go and retrieve the Hell's Retriever. Uh, as you can see here, I'm now going to collect the Hell's Retriever. And I, the way I took was going from the Warden's office, as that's the most cheapest way to go. Um, but as you can see here, I had some difficulty trying to kill the Warden and survive, because as you can tell, I have been caught. Uh, by the warden, but I was able to escape from his little trap and leave without dying. So that that was a bit of luck there. So if you don't somehow survive that, um, don't panic. It's not the end of the world. You've got, I'm guessing, you're around the age of 11 to 18, so you've probably just, you've got about another 65 years to live. So don't panic. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> once you have completed that, you now want to go and collect the clothes because we're not because basically all the parts are now open. So once you survive the round um, and you leave one zombie, you can go and collect um, the clothes um, from the laundry. Because um, I think if you uh, 
because you'll probably want to do this by around six or seven. Because if you do it around five or under, I believe you get uh, Brutus if you're playing in custom games, uh, which doesn't help. Well, it kind of does in some ways, but you want all the points you can get. As you can see, my friend has joined in, so my friend is now going to be doing some stuff once I'm spawning back in. As you can see, I've grabbed the part. And that is all I have time for for today, but I will be giving you part two as soon as possible. And until then, I will see you guys on the next episode. And if you have any more questions, like if you have any questions about this, put them in the comments below and I'll definitely answer them for you as soon as I can. Okay, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.